Hey guys, it's uh, December 29th, 2018. Update to the Case 1660 bearing replacement. Yeah, I think my clock is wrong. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Sun's up. 6. Yeah. So what it is that we're doing is this morning we are going to go ahead and replace the bearing on uh, the chopper. Right now I've got the combine started warming up. It is 20, about 22 degrees, so it's pretty chilly out. The benefit that we'll get is with the last inch and a half to two inches of rain that we got a couple days ago, uh, since it's so cold and the high is only supposed to be 29 to 30, um, we're going to make sure everything's warmed up nice and warm and then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start picking as soon as as soon as this uh, uh, bearing gets fixed we're gonna we're gonna get going so uh, we're gonna get as much done today as we can might have to run slower but uh, that's just the price you pay for this time of year so here we go So this is the new bearing that's going to go in, uh, or on rather, the uh, chopper shaft for the chopper in the back of the combine. Um, I went ahead and threw it together. It's been sat out overnight. Uh, so it's kind of stuck in here at the moment. So this is the bearing. And as you can tell, if you don't know what goes on the outside, there it looks a little oblong. And you can kind of tell it's thicker on the bottom side here towards my thumb and the metal is thinner right up here so what that is supposed to be for is allow this retaining uh, retaining pin to go on properly and you just line this hole up you see how how it swivels it's thick here but if you get it in the right position it's locked in there tight so the uh, that's gonna that's going to keep that shaft centered and it's going to keep it locked in properly now when we uh, when we start what you heard squalling was a belt on that combine since it's so cold but it just freed up so no big deal it's all done um, uh, I left off on we were talking about this bearing so this bearing is going to go over this shaft and what you want to do is you want to find a piece of pipe that barely fits over the outside shaft of the the uh, bearing I'm sorry the outside shaft of the chopper but runs even with the outside part of this bearing since we didn't take this uh, chopper completely out you can't press the bearing on but what you can do is if you find a piece of pipe that goes on the outside like this and if you only hit right here there's no shock that goes on the important part where the bearing is at so if you only hit that pipe right here and it has to be that pipe has to be flush with this so you're not damaging you know nicking anything up um, it'll it will work its way on that shaft so from there this rubber o-ring goes on the outside of this bearing to, I, I guess it, it says to help with uh, dampen vibration and noise uh, I don't really see um, any other purpose that it would would do but goes on the entire outside and then this flange goes on and I would not suggest that you use the flange to actually suck the bearing onto the shaft further because this is not that thick I mean it's I don't know maybe it might be 16 gauge I don't know it's pretty thin overall so you want to make sure you knock that bearing on and then you can you can just use use your bolts to finish putting the flange over the rubber so it goes all the way down inside of here so that way 
this gap here is completely sucked out. So you can suck the flange down using the bolts once you get the bearing set, but I don't suggest to actually use the flange itself to seat the bearing. Once you got that done, then you put this ring on, clamp it down, and it always goes uh, clockwise to tighten to tighten the uh, lock the lock nut. So that's an explanation of what we're getting ready to to do. Uh, stick with me, and hopefully you'll get to see a little bit of it being done. All right, we got the uh, combine warmed up, and I got back in the side, back inside, and I blocked that uh, chopper back up again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw a little, little WD-40 grease on it, so that bearing slides right on it. So it shouldn't be, should not be uh, hanging up on anything. Now when we get close to the Sorry, got to show the camera. When we get close to the side, we'll have to move that thing back up there. But once we get there, we can even strap it up to here and pull it that way with just a little strap. So we got the bearing put back on. We got it tapped on to that point. And then we found a uh, old swedge that will go right up here just like that so you just want to tap it on slow till it gets over the shaft so we got the uh, rubber flange on the outside of it we got under here ground off some of it and had to take a chisel to get on the back side of that bolt to knock some of that that burr off so I'm gonna hand the phone off to dad and he's gonna videotape this watch me jacking up You can always tap it in further, but what we're going to do is see how far that bearing is coming out here on that flange, and that way we know if we need to go in any further. So trying to pry up on this. And get it seated is a challenge. Or we could do it maybe this way. Take that off. Put the rubber inside of the flange. And try to do it that way maybe. thing up some more. Because it's falling down on us a little bit. I do that. So what we did was we reseated the blocks underneath the chopper and then we put some WD on the inside of that flange and it's slipping right over so what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, go ahead and thread the bolts on get them started and then if we need to tap that bearing in a little bit more we can just go from the outside until it's it's as far back as it needs to be but I know that flange that bearing sits inside of that flange we just don't know how far that bearing is supposed to go on that shaft all right this uh, bearing retainer, you'll know when you get that in the right position, you can turn it, you get it out here, you can turn it any direction. But you know how it has the swivels on there. You just turn it, and then you hear that 
where it just falls right in there. So there's going to be a little bit of play, give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, movement. Just try to get it as close to center as possible, and that should be pretty close. So that way, that whole thing is centered up perfect. And then we're done with the bearing, anyway. So once you've got everything centered up right, make sure you tighten that locking nut down all the way, about as tight as you can get it. So now if you've tapped on this shaft, it may be difficult for the first sixteenth to quarter of an inch getting that uh, this outer part back on. Um, we just tapped it on real quick and it once we got it past that first, oh, eighth to quarter whatever it is it flew right on there and then we seated that that retaining bearing retaining pin on there so um we're gonna get this thing completed put back together and completely put back together and kick this bad boy on so we've got the uh, magnet right here let me get rid of this other glove uh we've got the magnet right here it's on all that thing is is just a hose clip so i think a guy could probably make one pretty easy they want thirty dollars just for the magnet just for that and it's another i think 60 for this so you know i can't really see spending that much money but maybe it's needed but golly i just i don't know but uh anyway so we're gonna throw this plate this cover right back up here and we're gonna plug it in and then we'll be done so so I think we're just gonna hook this thing back up and we're gonna get going but uh, if you have any questions or comments please uh, please drop them below um, if you've seen a better way to do this uh, comment uh, this is just you know a, a cheap simple fix you know we're doing it ourselves so we're gonna save some money and uh, I can't really see paying somebody to come out a hundred and thirty dollars an hour just to do that that's pretty simple so I mean yeah it took three or four hours but I mean we did it pretty pretty easily so uh, please like please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions at all about this or about anything else that we're doing uh, don't hesitate to ask. Hope you're all having a good one. Staying warm. It's freaking cold out here. So we'll uh, check in with you guys later.